Well, good morning, grandkids. I'm so glad you stopped by. You, do you want me to read you another story? Come on in. Uh, I thought I would just show you around a little bit. You've seen this area, and you've seen my bedroom area, and I've been kind of busy because I really didn't have anything, and uh, I had to go out and scout around and manage to get me some money and uh, get me some armor. I didn't have anything. The way I acquired this house, it was just, I think the Jarl may just sort of pension off elderly people as they don't contribute as workers to the community anymore. So I got this house for free, and it had what you see in it. But over there on my chest, there was one crappy bow and a sword and some arrows. And that's all I had. There was, there was like three, three books in my bookshelf. I already read one to you. And, uh, the other one, I can't read to you because it got kind of skanky, <laughs> and I sold it. And the other one over there is how to decorate this house, and I don't guess I need that book. So what you didn't see, though, is downstairs. I do have uh, some recipes there, and I have a lot of ingredients that was already down here and uh, so I have my alchemy table and in here I have my enchanting table there are several uh, stones and those things but I don't have any way to fill them There's racks for all kinds of weapons, but I have to use what little bit I have. Two mannequin racks, but I have to, when I go out, I have to wear what uniform I have, what armor I have. There's a weapons rack. But now there's this door over here. So this is a room which I guess I could get furnished. But it would be for a child's room, and I'm certainly not going to have that. Unless one of you wanted to stay overnight, then it would be available. But, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that room. I guess it's just a useless room. And then, of course, my uh, bedroom area goes out onto my little porch. Sometime maybe I will sit out here and read you a book. Maybe I'll sit out here today and read to you. And I can make leather out here. And I've got another fish barrel storage. I'm trying to dry some fish right here, hanging them from my balcony. <laughs> I got a boat down there that I really wish I could take out on the water, but I can't. But I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm almost afraid to come out of my house. Uh, when I went out and got me some armor and some stuff off of the guys I killed <laughs> to go sell. Um, so I'd have some money to buy some other things, a few more arrows and stuff. Oh, I made me some iron arrows. Um, I, I had to go out in the middle of the night because... Almost every time I come out of my house, if I come out here and go down there, or if I go out the front door, there's these thugs that are hired to kill me, and I have no idea why. I haven't done anything to anybody. I just moved in. So, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, now that I got me some armor and uh, equipped a fire spell and my sword and a better bow and uh, I was doing pretty good last night taking care of these guys down the road at a fort so 
We'll see if I can't take care of them and get rid of them. And that won't be hanging over my head. All right, so I'm, I decided on a book I was going to read you. Uh, take. Wait, did I take it? No. All right. And take. All right, let's go outside and read today. Can you hear the birds chirping? It looks just seems so nice out here. So, all right, grandkids, let's read this book today. Herbane's Bestiary, The Hag Ravens. I don't know who Herbane is. Five Suns Down. I have heard a tale most bizarre. A beautiful young woman was cast out of town by the thrown stones of accusers for giving in to the dark arts. She shouldn't have been dabbling in that, should she? They say she fled into the reach. I hope I get to go to the reach someday. I have to have a lot better weapons, I think. And she never reappeared. And justly so, because they say the deviltry of her magic had grown stronger with each new day. Shortly after, a witch of half woman and half bird had been sighted deep in the mountains. And as the sightings increased, the young women began to disappear. Whoa, I wonder what she was doing with them. This tale has brought me to the reach where this witch they call a hag raven makes its home with sword and shield at the ready for I must see this creature and I must slay it. 24 suns down. So some time has passed while he was getting to the reach. The stomach of an average man would turn at the cruelty set before me. I first saw the thatch and bone, the human skulls, the dead goat heads mounted on pikes, filthy animal pelts, loose entrails, and feathers matted in blood. I had heard that foreign sworn revere and protect these hag ravens, and all around were their small crude trinkets and altars to these witches on which sat dull empty soul gems. What vile creatures would live where all things are dead? Deep into the lair I heard it first, an unsteady shuffling, followed by heaving unforgettable stench. I thrust the torch in front of me and waited for my eyes to adjust to the tunnel of darkness ahead of me. I saw the silhouette of what I thought to be a frail woman with an awkward gait, a way of walking. But the light of the torch revealed something else. This hag raven was horrifying, almost human, but more an abomination of woman and creature fused together. Nothing more than a husk of humanity, surrendered in exchange for possession of the powers of dark magic. This magic had corrupted her greatly, and her dull glass eyes stared with hate from the visage of an old crone sat atop the body of a contorted, misshapen human body, adorned with black feathers. Black feathers, so that's, so that's why the hag ravens are half human and half bird. It bristled as it let out a piercing scream, and as a vivid red light began to form in the palm of its talons, it even has talons, it was all I could do to raise my shield in defense of maggot, magic most foul. I fought through deviltry that seemed to snatch life from me 
and the thought that this thing was once a woman seemed to play on my nerves. Most men would have crumbled, but I do not bend. The hag raven is a most repulsive creature and deserving of its fate and its claws that are now my trophy and will tell the story of Herbane's triumph. I have nothing but to continue my travels and my conquests, for I have yet to use what would make me tremble. Ah, for I have yet to see what would make me tremble. So he's not afraid of them or much else, I don't guess. And that's the end of the story about how the Hag Raven started. This poor, poor woman in this village that was cast out. Okay, grandkids. Um, if you want, you can sit down and join me for a meal. Or we can go back inside and there's apple, there's pie in there. And there's sweet rolls plenty. You can just help yourself. So... Let's go inside and just enjoy visiting. Okay, grandkids, that's all of the story time today. I hope you enjoyed seeing her downstairs. I forgot to have you look at it before. And the information about how she got her house. So we will see you all later. Take care and bye for now.